Dear students, welcome to Engineering Chemistry Lab, CHY 1701 Lab. Today we are going to do an important experiment, <coughs> a water purification, water test estimation by EDTA, and it's a removal using ion exchange method. <coughs> so before I start the experiment, I, I would like to give some introduction about the uh, hardness using uh, estimation of hardness using EDTA. How do you estimate the hardness of water? Hardness of water can be estimated in different ways. But for today, we are going to use a complexometric titration using a ethylene diamine tetraastic acid sodium salt method and then uh, using a uh, erythro black tea as an uh, indicator at P pH 9 to, 10, 9 to 10. So we all know that EDTA forms an excellent complex with the calcium and magnesium salt. And then uh, before, uh, and then EDT can also form a loose complex with the calcium and magnesium salt. I will explain that you know when we do the treatment. Then once we, and then how do you, how do you remove the salt? How do you remove the hotness passing salt? Um, we can use ion exchange. Uh, there are two types of ion exchange resins: cationic resins and anionic resins. Today we are going to use cationic resins. We basically we are going to remove calcium and magnesium salt. Magnesium by passing through a, you know. Um, Cationic exchange resins or polymeric beads, where you have a specific functional group present in the molecule, in the polymer beads. When you are passing the hot water through a resin, it will capture all the calcium and magnesium salts, leaving behind the soft water. This is the, the background of this experiment. Before I start the experiment, I would like to um, go through what are the clusters and what are the chemicals that we are going to use today. First, I will tell you, first we will be given a We will be given a beulet. Which is about, uh, uh, which is about, uh, you know, 100 ml buret, and then you have a uh, given one uh, funnel, and then the buret is uh, fixed with one lid where you can turn on and turn off, where you know you can open and close, and then you will be given a wash bottle where you know you can use a fill with the additional water, and then you will be given a one uh, pipet, which is the pipet quality is maximum you can dispense 20 milliliter of uh, you know uh, solution. And then, more importantly, you will be given uh, two bottles. Bottle A, bottle A is basically standard hot water. Standard hot water is basically 1000 ppm calcium carbonate water. That standard hot water it is represented as a bottle A. And then you will be given a uh, bottle B, which is basically uh, EDT ethylene diamine tetraestic acid, which we are going to use it in the unit. So bottle A and bottle B. And then you will be given one. Uh, one conical class where we are going to do the all the titration using this uh, conical class. Apart from this, in the right hand side, you will see that there is a um, uh, column where it is filled with the cationic exchange resins, polymeric resins, where you are going to pass the hot water uh, about you know, 50 to 70 ml, and then once it passes through, the, all the um, cations will be you know, exchanged, and then you get a soft water. Apart from this, you will be the more importantly, you will be given one unknown sample. You will be given an unknown sample in a standard class where it is written an unknown sample with a seek number. Once you start the experiment, you will be, you will be noting down your seek number because uh, you do not know what is the concentration of hardness present in the solution. Each student will have a separate unknown sample. So you should note down your unknown number. And then it is an unknown sample in a standard class. It is an unknown standard class. Apart on this, you will see uh, the buffer. The, you will be doing the complexometric titration using ammonia, ammonia, ammonium chloride buffer. And then this is an EBT, erythrome black tea uh, indicator. And then uh, one more thing I would like to uh, tell you that this is the pipette uh, controller where you will be taking out the solution, required volume of solution using this pipette controller. Mm. So with all these, you know, uh, uh, gas mass and uh, you know, everything, let's start the, let's start the experiment. First part, there are three parts in this experiment. First, we are going to identify the concentration of EDTA in terms of calcium carbonate equivalent. Basically, as I mentioned, you will be given a EDTA which you will not know the concentration of EDTA in terms of calcium carbonate equivalent. So, first part of the experiment is basically to estimate the concentration of EDTA in calcium carbonate equivalent. Once you finish that one, the second part of the experiment basically involves you identify the total hardness of the given water total hardness of the unknown sample that is given to you. And then this is the second part of the experiment. And third part of the experiment, you remove the hardness through 
passing through the ionic cationic exchange is collect the water and then estimate the amount of hardness or uh, amount of hardness after you pass the cationic exchange. So these are the three experiments that we are going to do. Let me start with the first experiment, uh, identification of the concentration of the DPA in terms of calcium carbonate equal. So first before you start, I would recommend you rinse the burette, you rinse the burette with the water and then followed by rinse the burette with the EVTA solution which I have already done it but before when you start the experiment please I know you just uh, wash it and rinse it with EVTA. Now I am going to, I am going to fill the burette until zero. So I am going to use bottle B, bottle B is EVTA, bottle B stands for burette. I am going to fill it using a funnel. Slowly add. Use a lift the funnel and then just uh, slowly add till it, till it uh, comes to a zero and then we have to so, Now it has a little higher. Now you know that uh, to see the mark, it should be zero. Since it is a colorless liquid, you have to follow lower medicines. So now I am going to adjust, I am going to adjust the burette till it gives the Lower meniscus level. So we are going to check. Yes. Now I set the liquid at zero with the lower meniscus. So I fill the urine with the EVT. Now I am going to take. So this is a standard hot water. I am going to take 20 ml of standard hot water from bottle A. Or uh, this is the pipette controller. I am going to use the pipette controller. Insert the pipette controller in the the provision that is given to the and then to squeeze the bulb to squeeze the bulb a little bit and keep the tip or bring the tip inside all the way down and there are two controllers in the paper controller just lift the if you lift the knob upward the liquid will be sucked if you push the knob down the uh, knob down the liquid will be dispersed now I am going to lift the now I am going to, can you see that when I am lifting it, the liquid will be, liquid will be sucked at the top. Okay. So if you look at that, there will be a mark, there will be a uh, indicator. I am just, I am going to, then you just to, this is the marker, up to this is a 20 ml. Now I am going to squeeze it and then I am going to, So 
when you are typing, please make sure that you have to follow them. You will have to use both that. Left hand, you hold the you hold the viewer, keep the you know uh, keep your finger on the lid, and then right hand you have to hold the flash and keep the keep an eye on the reading and slightly open the liquid, and then you have to keep an eye on the reading as well as swirling. Right hand you have to swirl the solution and keep an eye on the <coughs> solution and the reading because you should not overshoot the reading. Otherwise you will get a error. Make sure that I am using left hand for the operating the knob and the right hand swirling the solution and I am keeping an eye on both the picks. You read as well as the polycrop graph which I am doing a swirling motion. Now you will see that as you add, you have to note down that the the color change, red point, color blue, steel blue color is the end point. As I am titrating EDTA, you will see that when it comes to a end point, you will see that suddenly the red point color will change into steel blue color. Have you noticed it? So this is the color of and this is the steel blue color, this is the end point. So once you complete, note down the value. Second part. Second part will be you are going to estimate the total hardness of the given unknown sample. If you notice it, it is given in a standard level standard class, and then still it is not full. So this is the up to the small is under level. So what you have to do is once you collect that equipment, when you are going to do the experiment, open the lid and take a wash bottle which is filled with the distilled water and carefully make up the solution until it, it touches the, the mark which is you know under the cloud. So you slowly add, make sure that you are not overshooting the value otherwise you will get a lot of error. So once you do it, you have to make sure that it should be lower viscous. It should be lower viscous and once you feel that, close the lid, carefully close the lid, hold the lid with the, in a closed position and turn it and slowly shake it. The purpose of doing this, the concentration of the, uh, the unknown um, solution should be uniform. Since we have added our water, it should be, the concentration should be uniform. So just doing upright, you know, upright, upright and then shake it uh, two, three times so the concentration is uniform. Now, with this solution, we are going to identify the total hardness of the given cell. Total hardness of the given cell. So we are going to repeat the experiment. So now I am going to take a, I am going to take a pump. I am going to just wash this conical uh, glass. Make sure that there is no, you know, previous experiment chemicals or something. And then keep the conical glass. And then you have, you have to fill the conical uh, glass, I am sorry, the unit with the zero. So I am going to take a EDTA, water B, and slowly I am going to fill the you write the EDTA till it comes to zero. Till it comes to zero. Now it has reached zero. Carefully, carefully set the value to zero over the distance. Again, okay? since it's a colorless solution, you have to set the value at zero. Okay. Now I set the value to zero. I filled it. And then one to task is ready. Now I am going to take, I am going to take 20 ml of um, standard, I am um, sorry, 20 ml of unknown power, unknown power. So before I do, I, we have to third part of the experiment, we have to um, pass the unknown water, unknown hot water to an ion exchange resin. Now I am going to add about uh, 70 or uh, 50 to 60 ml of this one. Now I am going to take uh, 20 ml of uh, unknown or water using pipette controller. So you just squeeze it, you squeeze the pipette controller, insert it, insert it and then slowly keep the tip and then wait, rise the knob till it, uh, you know, till the liquid comes to the blood. Okay, now you see that, so you slowly operate you have, this is the mark, this is the mark here, so you just uh, make sure that using the mark, you just, yes. Okay. 
have to remove the liquid and dis dispense it by push the knob down so that all the liquid will be dispensed. Only. Can you see that everything is going at the Set the reading at zero. I fill the unit, and then at 
waste water after I pass through the hot water through a cationic resins, then this water is also ready. I am going to take 20 ml of this water. I am going to take 20 ml of this uh, cationic exchange water using a pipette controller. You see, pipette controller squeeze the this one and then slowly suck the liquid out. Whatever the solution that you got, which is you know, completely soft, 
which you are going to measure residual hardness in the water sample, which you can calculate it from the second part of the third part of the uh, experiment, and find out hardness removed through column. Hardness removed through column, basically total hardness come um, minus whatever the reading that you got in the third experiment. That will give you the hardness that is being removed by the cationic exchange. Now you can then you can report the result in terms of PP. So hope uh, you are you know you are comfortable with the experiment. We have to we have to pay attention whenever you know you are filling the neural uh, solution, whenever you are putting out the solution, and you have to pay an attention on the color. Color change is a very important in terms of you know in terms of getting a right value to the complex geometry titration from red white color to steel blue color. Hope you enjoy the experiment.